I am Lala, the story of a girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban, from my scattered brainness to becoming focused. I felt like I was on a hamster wheel, just going, 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 and with no real sense of direction of where I wanted to go. I had work to do, and I thought I was getting through it, but it always just seemed like it was piling up every time I looked around. I had work to do with the association I'm a part of and worked to do with the students I work with and to make them successful, but I did not feel like I was accomplishing anything substantial. I had read a lot of motivational books to help inspire and motivate me to find a concrete direction and purpose, but they cannot push me to that point of getting me in gear. Then the summer of 2014, I was going to head to the National Education Association Rep Assembly in Denver and saw that the Friend of Education Award was being awarded to Malala Yousafzai. I did not know who this person was or what all the buzz was around her. I read her bio that was on the website and saw that she was shot in the face because she was standing up for her right to an education in Pakistan. She had a book out on her autobiography of the events of her life in the Swat Valley. Needless to say, before I left for Denver, I ended up reading her book and became inspired. Reading her book helped narrow my focus on how I wanted to help my association and students. I was moved by her determination to further her education in times when it would be dangerous and deathly to continue. Her activism for girls' education in Pakistan is seen as courageous with the use of peaceful protest. Listening to her speak at the convention brought hope and uplifted the crowd that was in attendance. I felt rejuvenated and focused on what I wanted to do for my association and for my students at school. I joined a couple committees to make sure our voice was being heard in the decision-making process for our members. By telling my story along with others, I was able to help craft legislation and bylaw amendments to empower our members. I was able to help our local association on the negotiations team to help negotiate better wages and benefits and to give them more increased language in the contract to empower our members in the school system. For my students, I focused my advocacy to making sure their basic needs were being met to start. In Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the basis level of psychological must be met before we can ascend to higher levels in the pyramid. Our students come in hungry from not having food from the night before and are thinking about hunger before the lesson that is in front of them. If I can meet those basic needs, our students can learn and be more productive. Reading her story has also helped me become a part of a team at school that is looking into restorative practices for our students that have behavior problems and figuring out another way other than suspension of the students. Restorative practices is an added tool coupled with discipline to help deter our students from being suspended, which eventually leads them down the school to prison pipeline and to make sure that they are in school to learn and to become more productive citizens in society. Restorative practices involves building relationships with our students to form that bond through one-on-one conversations to help prevent an incident from arising because we're able to tell and look at social cues to see if something is bothering that student. Through these different approaches for the association students I work with, I believe I was able to help institute change and give my life direction. Malala's book was a spark that I needed to get more motivated and focused on the path to success. To quote Malala, I believe that a gun has no power at all because it can only kill, but a pen can give life, a pen can save lives. Thank you. Created using Powtoon.